Hi and welcome back. My name is Ina. In this uh, short video, I'll be uh, showing how to configure basic um, routing using uh, OSPF. So I have a topology here with uh, three routers. Um, um, I'm using GNS3 simulation. So I have Cisco routers in here. I have uh, router one, two, and three, but I'll be doing the configuration on just router one, router two just to get them to advertise their loopback uh, subnet. So I have a loopback uh, configured on router one and another one on router two. Um, so we'll go ahead and see what we have configured on router one and do a show IP interface brief. And as you can see, I have um, gig uh, zero zero configured with an IP and then uh, loopback one with the one one dot one dot one dot one so this is the one i'll be looking to advertise to uh router two so if you, right now if you do a show ip route router one does not know about router two's loopback which is 2.2.2 .2 .2. if you go here and do a show ip interface brief I have this 2.2.2, .2 but it's not on uh, router one's routing table. At the same time, on router two's routing table, if you do show IP, show IP route, it doesn't know about the 1.1.1 .1 from router one. So to configure OSPF, there's two two ways to do it. One is globally, and then there's one on you can configure on the interface itself. So on router one, I'll do globally. So we'll do a config T. And the command is just um, um, router OS SPF. Then you give it a, a what is it called? A, a process ID. And then under, the, under that, you just want to configure the network command, which will tell OSPF what interfaces you want to enable uh, OSPF. So in this case, we have two subnets, the loopback, the, the 1.1, and then the uh, G00. So on G00, we'll do, since it's 192.168.1.0/24, just put 192.168.1.0. Then the wildcard mask is going to be 0 .0 .0 0.0.255. And then you have to put an area which will need to match on the other end. So we'll do we'll use area zero, and that's it for G00. For the loopback, we'll do a network 1.1.1.1. And here I'll just do a wildcard of all zeros and uh, put in area zero as well. And now you should have. Show IP protocols. Um, it gives you the route ID, what networks you're, you're routing for, what, what network, um, I mean, what interfaces or networks you have it enabled. So that's done on our end. So th there's no neighborship yet. Show IP uh, or SPF. We, we have nothing yet. So to get neighborship, you have to configure OSPF on router two. So in, on router two, we use the uh, the interface method. So we'll go to we use config terminal, and then we'll go to the interfaces we want to enable OSPF. So the first one is, is uh, G00. So interface G00. And the command to enable it on the interface is going to be IP OS. PF, the process ID, and then you have to put the area, area zero. And that's done on the interface G00. And as you can see, we have um, an adjacency with the, with the rate uh, here, the neighbor is 111, which is router one. So we still have to enable it on the loopback so we can advertise that. So it's gonna be interface loopback. Uh, IP OSPF one the process and then the area is zero and then we can do show IP 
protocols. Actually, there's another way to see where you have it enabled. So you can do a show IP OSPF interface. And that shows you what interfaces you have. You have OSPF enabled. In this case, loopback one and G00. And there's more information. Um, there's uh, inter uh, timers or intervals. You have a hello time of 10, bed of 40, weight of 40. So there's much more information that I'm not going to go into um, about OSPF. You can, you can check the routing table, show IP, uh, uh, yeah, show IP route. And you, as you can see now in router 2, we know about um, router 1's loopback, which is 1.1.1. .1 .1. uh, you can narrow this down by doing show IP route, uh, just to pull OSPF routes. And there you go, there's, there's your route that we learned from uh, router one. Um, that you can look, if you look at the cards here, there's um, much more stuff uh, uh, pertaining to OSPF that um, is more advanced. So I'm, I'm not gonna cover all that. Uh, all I wanted to do is just do the basic configuration to get your uh, OSPF running and uh, routes exchanged. And I think that should cover it. Uh, one other command you can do is um, you can just show IPOS just to check your neighbors. And this tells you who, who your neighbor is, which is router two's router ID. And then priority uh, for the status for BDR. Um, uh, let me see. Let's see what what we have on router one as far as uh, uh, on router two as far as uh, the neighborship. And here you have the DR. So this is the DR, and then on router one it's router one it's um, the BDR. So the backup backup. This is the main, and this is the this is the designated router, and this is the backup. All right, uh, that should be it, because um, actually we can just test to see if we can reach router two's loopback. So we can do um, to show IP uh, OS show IP route OS PF. Then you can see if we can we can try and ping router two's loopback and it should work. Then there you go. So that's pretty much it as far as configuring the uh, basic OSPF configuration configuration, just the bare minimum to get it to work and uh, without tweaking anything. So I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.